The one I think. My favorite content creator, Gigic. At this moment, is the best blind recommendation. Why Smoker is Luffy's dad? You better be fucking lying to me. You're a bad blight, bro. Is. Uh, are you ready for this? <laughs> this I don't want to turn the next slide, oh, man. I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to turn the next slide. <laughs> okay. <laughs> If you're in America, go to f to sleep. Shoot me. Get 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 shoot me. I'm in America. Fucking fill me up with bullet holes like like Swiss cheese. Fill me up that wait, that sounds fucking awful. No, 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 no. I meant with bullet holes. I meant with bullets. Uh Michael B Jordan did an interview with <clears throat> the BBC. Uh I love the BBC. Uh where he basically I know he got the BBC, you know what I mean? Glee recommended some starter anime because apparently the new Creed film is very heavily anime inspired and the interviewer asked him what- Yeah, man, I saw Creed 3. I was like, what the fuck am I watching? Black Clover? I thought this was boxing. My, uh, uh, Creed gets knocked out and his fucking backstory flashes in front of him. And then like a cage appears in the fucking ring. And he sees his father. I'm like, bro, am I watching Luffy? I thought this was real. This doesn't happen. Some of his favorite starter anime. A Jimmy no homo. Anime would he recommend? I have actually made a list myself of the perfect, the perfect. All right, let's see if this is perfect. Starter pack. But before we move on, this video is brought to you because an absolute lie. I just fucking lie to you. I got my editor Alan to make me a PowerPoint presentation. I just told him what to put into it. Hey, group projects, am I right? You just take the credit for other people's work. Come on, that's 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 how you do things, right? That's how you do things. No matter what, I don't- We don't watch ads on this channel. I don't really care what Michael B. Jordan says is his starter anime because uh, guys are a legend already. Flashbang, uh, deal with it, guys. Oh God, what animes is he gonna say? Why well, Attack on Titan? Watch Naruto. Watch uh, uh the Pokemon. Yu-Gi-Oh. What? What? Let's deal with it. I am. It's a, it's a Hollywood celebrities list. In light mode. Cut him a break, guys. It's an American. Here we go. Here we go. Seen, you know, Neon Genesis, Evangelion. You've not seen a thing. What are your go-to? Here's what you start. Here we go. Oh. He's gonna say. Oh wait a minute. One Piece. Wait, what? Start with One Piece and Dragon Ball. Bro, if somebody made me watch One Piece first, I'd be like, bro, I'd rather fucking read at this point. You don't start someone on a thousand fucking episodes and then Dragon Ball, what's next? No, no, okay. What's next, Bleach? Dragon Ball. No, no, okay, okay, okay. You, yeah, start with this. It's, it's like telling someone you never read before. Here, here, you never read before? Read this. Re read this. Read this. The fuck? Okay. Naruto. Okay, actually, I think Naruto what? is... Uh, what, like what the fuck? This is how you scare someone away. Legit, better. Oh, you want to you wanna become holy? <laughs> read the Bible. Still a no from me. Bleach. Hunter, hunt. What the fuck? Bro, how about we start out with Death Note? It's just like 34 episodes. My guy just named the big three. The biggest surprise of this was nothing that Michael B. Jordan said. It was the fact that the interviewer actually said Neon Genesis Evangelion. I'm like, what? Recommending anime for a starter list is totally different than just right. recommending an anime. This is what I'd start somebody on. You ready? You ready, guys? I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Let me think. You're pressuring me. Death Note. I don't even like it that much. I mean, I like it. I love Death Note. What am I saying? I'm lying. Death Note. Easy. Easy. You start them off fucking Death Note. Attack on Titan. And then I'll give them one smaller one. A complete anime. And I don't even think it's considered anime. Cyberpunk. That would be the three I recommend. If I were to get my brother into anime, I'd say Death Note, Attack on Titan, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. And then, if he fucks with that, we give him a long series. We give him Hunter Hunter. That's what we give him. We give him Hunter Hunter. We don't give him Spy. We don't start with Spy Family. We're not trying to get him to never watch anime again. Vinland Saga is is okay. Vinland Saga is in my top three. Y'all notice? I fucking love it. But I'm afraid to show someone Vinland Saga 
because I'm afraid what they might think of it and it might make me homicidal. You know what I mean? One piece, I'd wait. I'd wait before I, I bring them into something with a thousand fucking episodes because that'll scare them away in the beginning. What would you guys give them? Top three. What, what, what would you give them? The three animes you'd give to, 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 oh, one, 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 one. What's the first anime you'd introduce to somebody? One Punch Man, I don't know. Not everybody is into that humor. Not everybody is. Like, if I wouldn't get my brother into One Punch Man, he'd fucking run away. Demon Slayer? I feel like Demon Slayer, if you give it to them first, they'll love it. But if you're giving them Demon Slayer, like, as a 30th anime, they might not like it. Attack on Titan? Yeah, man, bro. Attack on Titan was, like, it got me into fucking anime. Like, without Attack on Titan, I, I don't even know if I didn't. If I didn't start with Attack on Titan, I don't know where I'd be right now. I, I honestly don't know. I don't know. Full Metal's good. Full Metal's a good choice. It's not that long. I feel like Death Note and Attack on Titan are the perfect starters. I don't know about JoJo. JoJo might scare people away, too. If that you like, in my opinion. Instead of just judging other people's lists and other people's articles, I'm curious what he's going to say. I decided to I'm do curious. my own. Okay, so you can judge me. I'm judging you. <laughs> Every image in this uh, was here we go. put in here by Alan. I would have to say, normally when it comes to recommending anime to someone who doesn't enjoy anime, my best kind of method is to ask them, hey, what kind of movies and TV yep, shows do yep, you like? Yep, yep, because to me, Yep. Like, I'm not going to give them this if they're not into, like, to laughing. Like, me, if you gave me this or, like, Spy Family or, um, or One Punch Man as my first anime, I might not be in love with it as much as I am now. The best starter anime is an anime that's suited for the person. There is no that's one a good, that's anime good, that's good. meets all kind of like presentation. Yeah. I Sorry, I got distracted because uh, someone in chat said redo of healer. Uh, we're no. trying to get people into anime. We're not trying to scare them away from anime. I don't even know what that is, but I'm not showing them that. Can you guys do no, you're not showing them this. What of like criteria do I think make for a good starter anime? Class, 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 listen. Listen, you better not be falling asleep. I see, I see you there in the corner. I'm wide awake, motherfucker. Next to the window. I'm not next. I actually am next to the window. Not sure. Not sure if this is obvious, but hopefully. It's good. Hits fast and hard. These are like check bot check checking my my list off. Still holds up today. No anime bullshit. No isekai. Death Note. It hits fast and hard. Hopefully, what you recommend uh, is a good show. No, no. Are you that guy who just guys who what, what hits fast and hard recommended redo of healer second criteria It needs to hit hard and it needs to hit fast Just like how there I are like it a lot of good anime that might not have the best start It might take a few episodes to get into hard yep. and fast <laughs> okay. Third criteria uh -huh. it still holds up today um, There's a lot of let's say people who like to quote some starter anime and they quote it because it was the anime. You don't introduce One Piece, Dragon Ball, Naruto, Bleach. You don't recommend those as someone's first anime. Those are animes I feel like people were born with. Like, like they grew up watching that shit. It's nostalgia. That was perfect for them at the time. If you're trying to get somebody into it right away that's never watched anime, you do not start them on nostalgia. You don't, no matter how fucking good they are. No matter how good they are. Anime that got them into anime back in the day. We just saw that with Michael B. Jordan. Remember the time when we just kind of like turned our heads to filler and we just like, oh, okay, so it's just, yeah. it's just anime. Like, I'm sure all anything, of you watched you know? filler back in the and day. You don't even know what that as meant. As much as it pains me to say, some anime don't look as good as what I remember them looking like. This is kind of my own criteria. Fourth criteria. Fast and hard. No anime bullshit. What do I mean by that? No anime bullshit. No, like, like 30, 30 episodes during a fight. There are some things that anime have in common that if you're into no the anime No big titty anime girl. Might... Like that. None of that. None of that. Do, do not give that to anybody. It's kind of be Not yet. Immune to this kind of shit. Don't give them this shit. We become so used They'll think you're fucking weirdos at that point, bro. They'll think you're a weirdo. Like, what are you watching? What are you watching?
It's the wet and we kind of brush it off. As it's hot that. to me oh, now. It's just but not to begin with. It's just anime thing, you know? Oh, like, no! You're not giving this as the first anime. You do not do this as your first anime. Oh, Michael Kuhn, here you go. Watch um um my my bunny girl's um big titty said by girlfriend. No, you don't do that. Panty shorts. Oh, that's just part of anime. Incest. Oh, you know well she. Oh, good old incest. <laughs> we all love that. Which leads on to my next criteria. Is there an isekai in existence? Me and my brother always swap spit. good. That does not have any anime bullshit in it. No re zero. <laughs> I don't think there yeah, is. Yeah, Re Zero is a good easy guy. I, think. I don't know. That's like my only one I've watched. So that's my first easy guy. That's my experience with easy guy. They look like fat mom jeans, right? No, they look good. Capri? I haven't worn these for a minute. Yeah. You look like. Uh, I like those jeans. That That's a nice outfit. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, maybe that's exactly what I'm <laughs> If you are Aww. below the age of 18. You're probably already fucking into anime. Let's be honest, okay? I My wasn't. kind of target demographic for making this list is like late teens. Guys, how old are you? How old are you? I'm fucking curious, man. How old are you? I'm not trying to get with you. I'm just asking, like, how old are you? 21, 23, 20. Yo, I see a lot of 20s. Your dad, your grandma. Your cousins that you see at your family reunion. Who I'd show my grandma Boko no Pico. Job. Why are you thinking about my mom when you think of anime, huh? <laughs> who doesn't? Let's be honest, Bacon Soldier. Who doesn't? Have you seen your mom? Let's start off with the blind pick. I can't see I'm blind. This might sound like a normie answer. I'm not blind. <laughs> but I genuinely, genuinely do not think there is a better blind pick than Attack on Titan. There we go. Easy. You want to get someone in a fucking anime, you show them this. I don't care what anybody says. You show them this shit, they will fucking love it. They'll fall in love with it. You guys showed me this shit. Now look at me. Look at me! Look at me! I went to Japan! I have a fucking tattoo of Aaron's key on me! And I think it's the one that is most likely to get people into anime after they finish Attack on Titan. There are some shows in my mind that I feel you watch the show and you're like, okay, I'm done. Um, and that's how I feel when I recommend yeah. Ghibli films to people. Because when you recommend Ghibli films to people, they're like, oh, I'm an anime fan. I've watched two Ghibli films. I, I'm an anime fan. I watched Spirited Away. Fuck you. I hate those people, man. Those people piss me off. I'm a Ghibli fan. I'm a, I watched Spirited Away. That's it? That's all you watched. You haven't watched only yesterday. Grave of the fucking Fireflies, which is goaded. Totoro. Clonade. And I had no interest in watching the Manoke, Mononoke. It's just weird. There's House Moving Castle. Anime, I think, can rival Attack on Titan in how much of a hook the first two episodes are. And it's one of the few anime that I think has actually matched the hype that it gets. Yes. Moving yes. on to the next one. Yep, guys, I'd recommend my hero to someone. Shonen right now, and pick out of the shonen that I've seen, what one piece. I think would be the best blind recommendation in the modern day and age. <laughs> One piece. <laughs> I don't want to turn the next slide, man. I don't want oh, to, no, I don't not want, Demon Slayer. Don't, don't say slide. Demon Slayer. No, he's yeah. going to say Demon Slayer. Oh, no. That's actually a good fucking choice. Hell yeah. That's a good choice. I said, I said it. Yeah. I said it, okay. Now we get the That's a great out. choice. Let me cook, let me cook, okay? Because this, this is gonna be a long segment. Out of all of the modern shonen airing right now- What a now, great fucking season so far. I think it's the perfect so balance of kind there of- There she everything. is. Uh, you look at Chainsaw Man, which I think does hit the ground running. I think that's a very, very good show. Nah, 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 nah. I'd show them JJK over Chainsaw Man. I wouldn't show them Chainsaw Man yet. I'd, I'd start with JJK. Attack on Titan, JJK. I think those are two good ones so far. But that's how we go. That's how we're doing it. I think that's a little too weird. Yeah. You know, if if I knew the person and I and, and I knew they were like, like they're not gonna like fucking like you you introduce someone to Chainsaw Man you have the whole 
this shit and uh, some people and and Jimeno with the with the vomit they they might be you might scare them the fuck away man I don't know like I love chainsaw man I bought a fucking chainsaw I have Pochita I I, I have the manga what else do I have I have Denji all over this fucking room man but I feel like you're gonna weird people out with that wait until they get weird then you show them fucking that shit you know what I mean and weirder stuff I'd probably go you know try check out Chainsaw Man. Something like My Hero Academia is a little no. too safe. No. It was basically between no. Jujutsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer. And I just think Jujutsu I would even recommend Demon Slayer unless it's like a if you if you're dating someone and you're showing them I'd show them Demon Slayer. I showed my girl Demon Slayer, it's her favorite. It's her fucking favorite anime. She loves it. Demon Slayer, girls love Demon Slayer. They fucking love it. Jujutsu Kaisen gets there a little bit faster. It shows everything that a good shonen should show in its first few episodes. It gets running pretty quickly while still being JJK safe, is fucking awesome, but man. Not too I safe. felt cool watching it. How was that? Did I save it, boys? I feel cool did saying I, did it. Did I save it? <laughs> Next, we go into psychological, psychological. death note. Can't death note. All be about punches death note. and fights. Death note. Death Note. It's Death Note psychological. It's still goaded to this. Or am I? Am I? Am I psycho? Death Note. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't on. think easy. anyone would argue about this pick. Monster. No. It's so no, fucking on, easy man. to get into. Monster. That's a slow burn. It's it, it's like 30 it's epi amazing, 36 episodes long. I think 38. Almost like a novel. Death Note comes out of the gate storming like a. That's a good person. list so still far. To this day has one of the best hooks in anime. Tetsuo Araki, who is a famed action director, directed Death Note, and even in some of the most see some of the scenes where they are over explaining stuff, he manages to direct it in a way that is still compelling and catches your attention. I'll never forget that ship scene. That changed the trajectory of my life. Guys, you gotta be honest with yourselves. You motherfuckers are recommending some crazy animes that if you told me to react to that first, you'd scare the shit out of me. I think you're a serial killer. Now, if you recommended it to me, I think you're the best person in the world. You gotta start small, bro. Beginners. Beginners. People wanted me to watch Overlord as my first anime. My first fucking anime. How do you think I would react to that? I could, I, maybe I would have loved it. But as my first? My first? I don't know. Nah. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know. Moving on to action. Obviously, uh, people got TikTok brains, One man. Punch, man. Sometimes you just need to watch someone oh. punching each other. Yeah. The TikTok brains. Y'all y'all are Gen Z, right, bro? Y'all are a bunch of TikTokers and your TikToks and your TikToks. And, Here we go. Uh, Give them one, one punch. Yeah, bro. It's like I wrote this fucking video. Man, there, there is no better than... Uh, you want non-stop action? action? Are you a Marvel fanboy, bro? You you laugh at anything? You watch fucking One Punch Man. I, I laughed at it, and I fucking hate Marvel, even though I've seen every Marvel movie. One Punch Man's great. It's funny. Animation's amazing. The characters are lovable. Um, 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 the girls... Don't get me started. Frank said Boruto. <laughs> Just One Punch Man, that I should feel, be. works bro. the best in this modern day and age. Just you want someone that. to love that? Oh, oh God. Speak... Marry me. In anime, in anime. But, but let me be honest, bro. You want to get someone into anime? Boruto. I wonder, bro. Has any of you, any of you was Boruto your first, or Naruto was your first anime? Oversaturated. Fabuki over Tatsumaki. Superheroes have become me. in modern culture. So I really wanted to put Mob Psycho 100 I want to be in a room with those two sisters. Because I think that Mob Psycho 100 is a better show in my opinion uh but again going into something blind i feel like one punch man is just easier to get i'm just lie y'all saying say, naruto was your you first you actually need less iq to understand one punch <laughs> man yeah this is this is the netflix one punch man so uh i think one punch man is an easier recommendation <laughs> i wanted to put kiran lagan and kill a kill but holy shit pov you're talking to your mom mom i'm gonna put on kiran lagan and uh, mommy. Your, and your mom's like, mommy, I put on Bunny Girl Senpai. Like, oh, uh, why, why is uh, why, why, why are the girls not wearing any no, clothes? Uh, why is that sniper? Maybe it is 14th anime. In a bikini. 
I think if you were to recommend anime to like a young horny No teenager, titties yet. We, yes. we gotta slowly uh, bring in the tits. Kill the kill all the fucking way. Get hype. Get horny. Moving on. Let's go to drama. I've been horny. Yes. Drama. 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 I don't know what he's gonna pick. What is he gonna pick, bro? Black Clover? The song said EastEnders. <laughs> My drama pick uh, that I would recommend to someone Your if name? they just wanna feel something. Or if they just wanna feel emotions. It is. Your name. Silent Voice. Silent oh, Voice. I heard this one is was fucking not only one great. Of the animation I heard this work. was amazing. It's not only one of the hardest hitting anime I think I've seen. Um, but it's, it's good. Everybody's saying story. W. Without going overly melodramatic. I don't like melodramatic. Emotes more. But I feel like I love this one. What do you guys minimum, think? More than most light novel that was Subaru. who have 10 pages worth of dialogue. No. Um, and I think the character animation in this is some of the best character animation um, in all of anime just because of how many emotions it's not melodramatic just by watching Good. the main girl Boruto has emotion too man yeah bro why are you laughing that's honest you're being honest Boruto made me fucking cry man <laughs> another one I, th I think Kyoto animation is kind of goaded in this category because I Boruto has fighting emotions and incest what else, what more can you ask it for really narrowed this down to a silent voice and uh violet evergarden uh clan ad no i tried watching what it and i couldn't get into clan ad all right guys i'm listening to him he said he can't get into clan ad so i'm not getting into clan ad then <laughs> you are all gone i'm not listening to you i'm not listening to you i'm listening to him <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, it gets good in Clan Ad Office. Fuck this theme like, song. That's like, that's like one season away. Unfortunately, I also really wanted to put Anno Hunter on here as well. Uh, Hunter Hunter? I think that's a little too anime as well. Uh, especially with the whole Menma bullshit at the beginning. Oh no, he said uh, Anna, Anna. It definitely pulls Anna, on the heartstrings. Yeah. Those are Hunter Hunter. It's a little too Hannah, Hannah. It's also a little too Happy anime. Motions, too damn it. Okay, okay, I These get it, okay, fighting. thank you. Charlotte? So, you <laughs> ain't no way, ain't no right way I'm putting Charlotte on there, man. Oh gosh! For the I masses. don't think you can get any more emotional than Baki. <laughs> than Baki? I mean, I was emotional during Baki. I don't know if everyone else got emotional during Baki. Uh, you can't get more emotional than Boruto. By in April, also get a bit in here. Again, uh, I think, I just, I just think Silent Voice is just the top tier contender. So, my All right. pick goes That's good. towards Violet Evergarden. <laughs> Don't Moving say on. Sci-fi. Sci-fi. Star Wars. The anime. Cyberpunk. 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 Who Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. Having a good sci-fi pick would be pretty good Cyberpunk. for a general audience. And my pick yep. for sci-fi. Edge Runners. Goes to. What? Wait, 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 wait. Alan? Alan, what have you done? Group projects. Am I right? Am I right, guys? This is uh, this is Alan's little moment. He wants. You gotta rock out with your cocks out. So he runs Hello. to recommend oh. Gundam. Oh, well, sci-fi! I wanna watch that. Watches it. They can just quit anime straight after because nothing else will ever live up to. Wait, Hathaway's is he being flash. for real with right, this? Thank you, thank you very much, Alan. Thank you very much. He's being All for right, real. So and Hathaway. Let's give Alan a round of applause there. Let's give Alan a round of applause. But my pick for sci-fi is a. Uh, Psychopaths. Oh shit. Okay. To me, the first season. I didn't know he's gonna say this. Still All right. Wonderful. Yeah, I might actually uh, take his grow, advice. Grows more and more. I'm gonna listen to him, uh, not y'all. Fuck Lynette. I'm gonna watch I this. I rewatch Psychopaths, and I'm like, fuck me. This this is hit. This is hitting different because I'm like, some of these stories and some of these ideas presented might seem more relevant today than they did. I mean, TK did the, the openings, didn't he? I gotta watch this, man. Oh no, Bebop, bro. Okay, we'll get we'll get to that because that Bebop that was, is a good one too. A if y'all don't know, I actually watched that anime on the plane when I was it's going to Italy. I don't think it's. I mean, Japan, good. Japan. I think Cowboy Bebop is a bait pick in this modern day and age for a gateway anime. Nah, okay? I think I would have loved fucking Cowboy Bebop if you started me on that shit. Like maybe my fourth anime. I would have loved that shit. With streaming platforms with netflix with the whole advent of the modern media landscape cowboy is very people boring want ongoing stories 
Episodic shows have become the outlier. Just There's drop Hunter Hunter and watch Naruto. Very nowhere near so. the same amount of space as they used to be when media was dominated by television. What about Neon Genesis Evangelion? Get the f out. Get that guy. Come on. Come what, on. is he not like that? <laughs> That's a hard enough recommendation for anime fans. Oh, shit. Fucking <laughs> Joey. Look, it's the anime man. <laughs> Moving on to. It's his favorite course, anime? Oh. Romance. Don't say Spy Family. Though, my girl loves Spy Family. Gr okay, okay. Romance, bro. What would y'all put? Kaguma? My girl loves romance. She loves that shit. I don't want to see Spy Family. I'll, I'll shut the video off. There's nothing romantic about Spy Family. They don't do anything together! I don't know. They don't even kiss! That's romance! A good romance that fits. There's none of this! There's a lot of harems out there. And there's Harams? just a lot of teenage romances in there that kind of just are like, eh. I, I tried to pick something more mature. Uh, so of course my pick is domestic girlfriend, baby. Let's go, let's go. Uh, what can I say? Mature romances where they sleep with each other. Y'all going insane. The incest. Nothing says romance like incest, bro. You know what I mean? My brother, we 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 um. I'm not even complete, does that? The dramas that your mum and dad. No, it's. it's I didn't even want to joke girl. about that. It's, it's actually, I was gonna say we 69 all the time. Your name. Um, I'm still not. 100 your name happy with this pick your name's not all your name looks romance. fucking beautiful still like i get recommended this all the time this there. a silent voice these are like the top two requests interested to explore the genre a bit more chobits bro we all want to raw dog our gamer rigs no chobits bro Have i feel like y'all would say that turned, what do we have the same chat uh how chi gets turned Nothing on beats the romance in baki sm8 Y'all would say some bullshit like that. Nothing beats the romance in Naruto. Nothing says romance more than licking my my brother's asshole. Okay, actually, actually, his chat is worse. Oh god. Uh, powering up with sex. All right, but your name is kind of just the most inoffensive romance pick I could think of. It's How I tripped on my brother's dick. That would be the name of my anime. But a lot of pretty colors and some absolutely she beautiful doing? scenes and i and, and i think i just want she to put them back on that was not too not too anime central don't believe me nagatoro ain't no way man ain't no fucking way romance is already hard enough is it mishuko tensai a romance into anime you try to get someone uh who's into shonen into romance and it's like you know that meme where it's that guy talking to a brick wall that's what i feel like sometimes when i'm trying to talk about my favorite romances Golden Time to me is not only my favorite romance, but my favorite romance. Not this is romance, like predatory. Romance that I feel could appeal to a wider audience that aren't interested in high school romances and want a bit more of an adult take onto it. Yeah, man, I'm a 28 year old. 28 year old. Nothing sounds more appealing to me than a high school romance. God, bro, there's so much content for that out of context channel right now. I swear to God. But fucking Ghost Bannery, man. Ghost Bannery is such a big fucking wall to overcome that I, d I, I, I was like, oh, oh no. I don't know if I could bullshit Are my they way fucking... past Ghost Bannery. No, no, uh, moving no. Two. Sometimes you just need something. Please don't put Spy Family. Just, think about it. No. Um, you're at, you're Yitsuga at Yitsuga no Sora lol. Okay, okay, you, you guys need to stop now. You guys need to stop. So, picture it. Dick Fight Island makes me feel good. You are, you're, you're, Don't you're do Spy family, family. Something. You're at a family. Oh god, he said family gathering. Or something, and you just want to put something It doesn't make me feel good, Giga. Or Gart, whatever your fucking features. name is. Um. Don't. It's Spike. No! Spike no! Is out of everything, D. This is gonna be suicidal. Inoffensive pick. It's got a cute anime daughter in it, and every episode you come out feeling this warm, fluffy. Oh, you're lying to no people. One can actually, complain about. Is it the best anime of all time? No. No. But is it an anime that you can put on at any time, any day, in any situation? I'll put this anime on. When I have a fucking knife to my wrist. And have the same effects? Yes. Prison school, though. My. I'd rather watch that. Prison school.
But I'll, uh, you know what, ma'am? I'll put that on. Favorite family friendly show. <laughs> Orimo, another there we family go. friendly show. There we Thank go. I'd rather watch Incest Thank you very than much. Spy Family. Has that means having a cozy time with all the family around, watching Baki together. Thank you very much. Moving on. One of the hardest. I'd rather circle jerk with I my family. Was trying to convince my parents that anime was a medium worth getting into so i've split up what am I the watching? next category into two one for mom what are y'all watching one for dad. villain this motherfucker knows this motherfucker knows. He, he, he just spat on me <laughs> with, with Spy Family. And, and then that spit went, went right back in my mouth. <laughs> now, now it's right down my throat again. Saga. What dad would not fucking love Vinland Saga? Yeah, bro. If, oh my God, bro. If, if, if I was like, if I came home from school, right? Mommy, Daddy, Subaru Chan. If, if I came home from school when I was a kid and I put on Spy Family, my dad would have came in there with the belt and said, ah! like, fuck you. If he saw me watching Vinland Saga, man, he'd get a beer and crack one open with me. Little 12-year-old me drinking beer. Holy shit, that would have been a nice bonding time with my father. Not only because it's a fucking goaded show, man. He'd cry too. Number one. He follows me? No, he doesn't. Vikings. It's who's Vikings, that's cool, but Death. Uh, you know, having into ain't no incest in this saga myself as well. There are so many themes of fatherhood in Vinland. Fatherhood, Thorfinn himself, something my exes didn't have, has like basically multiple fathers. Uh, Prince Canute as well. We could see the father. Canute, I thought it was Canuti. I call him Canuti with the booty figure in his life as well which definitely was not his own father is this the new i what i miss the fuck i missed something in a video fatherhood in vinland saga thorfinn himself has like basically multiple fathers uh prince canute as well we could see the father figure and his the fuck did i miss go back what, what, what am i watching an anime i missed something what would not fucking love Vinland Saga. Not only because it's a fucking goaded show, man, but number one, Vikings. It's who's not gonna think that that's cool, but uh, y'all fucking joshing me right now. You know, having interviewed the creator of Vinland Saga, why y'all telling me to go back? What I miss? There miss? are so many themes of fatherhood in Vinland Saga. Fatherhood. Are you hungry? No, I'm good. I'm hungry for ass. Thorfinn himself Thorfinn. has like basically Thorfinn. multiple fathers. Uh, Prince I want to show well. Liv Vinland Saga next. Should I do that? As well, which definitely was not. Should I? You think she like that? Is this the new I work for the BBC? Yo, I've said that once. I said, I've said that once. I or love twice you, beautiful most guys. Come on. Obviously, the creator said that. I gotta watch this video. He fucking interviewed him. I gotta interview him. Nah, man. I'm afraid what I might do in that interview. I might kiss him. Uh, he he himself Thank you. is Lord. a father, and that's why he's put a lot of themes of fatherhood in the entirety of. See, Vinland if you don't have a father, Even you watch Vinland Saga. You'll have a new dad. A father. Yet, some of these scenes made me want to pick up the phone Ooh. and call my dad, and just wanted to uh, wanted just to make me say, Dad. I can appreciate you, man. Thanks for let's, uh, being here. Let's go a share kid. a pint together. Let's uh, play some footy. Die in the uh, life of a true Brexit gazer. Uh, Brexit. Which brings me to all the mums out there. It came between two. Motherfucker's gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna recommend my mom Steins Gate. The fuck out of here. What would you guys recommend your mom to watch? I, I, I honestly, I'd actually give my mom um. Spy family. And I had to pick between the one that hit me harder. Uh, but to me, it's Wolf Children. Alan's tried to troll me here. You're gonna with give the your mom a fucking furry of, anime? My uh, mom's gonna be scared. I'm getting with the wolf, but I'm give not my mom gonna make judgments, yeah. maybe. Be like, here, mom. Maybe your mom might like that shit. <laughs> here you Who go. <laughs> the reason I picked <laughs> Read it, bitch. Was because of one seed in general. It's just, it's just a montage 
of when she gets pregnant and uh, all the- Show your mom B-stars? You think I, my mom's a, a fucking chicken? All the events leading up to her pregnancy, to her birth, and Wait, this is actually beautiful. This art style. Them. I think I want to watch one this. One of the most Show beautiful montages. And, her two -hit multi -target attacks. and I'm gonna ignore that. I and love his chat. One I love y'all more, but his chat's pretty cool too. Of the most beautiful montages in anime. Wolf Children I've is great. Mom, Wolf Children, and my mom cried multiple times during it. My back and what should I show my mom, um, guys? Amazing, Let me know down below. Amazing, or in the chat. I'm talking like I'm on YouTube. Any mom would appreciate you showing either film. Imagine me and Liv have a child and it comes out as a wolf. To her. Is this Inukai but worse? Oh my god. <laughs> bro, bro, you can leave. Couldn't really think of any more categories. I just popped so the fucking whitehead like, on, li on I was stream. Like, Wild card, baby. Why not? Yeah, I'll show my mom Boruto. Perfect anime to start with. This is just one I wanted to recommend. What? I've showed this to... I'll watch this. Whatever he says, I'll fans, watch it. A lot of my mates who are not into right. anime, and they f***ing loved it. It's f***ing Bakano. Alright, I'm gonna watch Bakano, guys. That anime I'm watching bullshit. Bakano. The one thing Bacano, Pico. that makes it a little bit of a harder sell Bacano. is that they need to use their brains for this. <laughs> because it is... I use my brain. Out of order. Y'all come to my channel for the big brain th theories. I know. Imagine this is either a Tarantino film or a Guy Ritchie film that's been spread out into a whole TV hey. series. And I'm like, okay, I get it. That was my 10 blind picks for someone if I knew nothing about them. Uh, we, we, have some, we have some bonus rounds. He knows nothing about uh, me. could have done way more genres Get some watching back in But I honestly just didn't back have the time. Say you've shown them the first tier of anime. You might want to get them into some genres that might be a little bit more anime -esque. A little more re esque You might be trying to test the waters to see if you can bring them down with you into- How about my life in another world as a vending machine? Would y'all recommend that? The hell? And to me, Isekai, it's re -Zero. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Y'all gave me the best Isekai to start with. I don't even care what I react to next. ReZero is so fucking good that if anybody talks shit about it in my chat, I tell them to fuck off. It's It's gotta be ReZero. I tell them to leave. It's got that whole, like, time travel loop aspect, which I feel... Wow. A, a lot of the time... I can't wait to continue with this week. Hook to get into a new this genre, weekend, I, I mean. This Zero weekend. the strongest hook out of a lot of Isekai that I've seen. Next, yep. we have High School. Uh, high School, my favorite genre. Miss Kaguya Summer, you're going to have to encounter high school whether you like it or not at one point in your anime watching time. And I feel like Kaguya Summer Love is War is the best introduction to that. Kaguya Love is War. Goes, I actually thought about reacting to this. I made a video about it saying I'm going to react to it and I never uploaded it. On, it kind of feels like you're emulating having friends and hanging out in a high school setting and you're just being and and you're just seeing your friends this looks like a nice wholesome shit. anime yes i did just say I was beautiful animation cool hot class, car but... no not hot i meant like cool characters it looks so like a nice anime cute. rugrats wait why are you on cute girls and angelica you girls doing cute things i can only recommend what got me cute interested girls. in this genre and that's a place further than the universe Bleach. it has cute girls doing cute things but it also has an ongoing plot line as well there is a goal it just makes it easier to like i said bro you have that child predator friend you give them this recommend than Be like here. a lot of other shows cute boys cute girls just, just like for you completely completely slice of life bocce the rock could also take this place and last of all degeneracy what's the most degenerate anime you could recommend someone hmm what would y'all say? High school DXD? Redo of he everybody saying redo of healer. Boruto? Don't disrespect me like that. What the frick, Alan? <laughs> Degeneracy. Right. My boys. I have a lot of you degenerate check friends. How how close you are. I used to be mate, degenerate, right? man. They might so this like might this might fill my holes. Functioning member of society on the outside, but uh maybe uh maybe they have me. a little degenerate side to them. You know, maybe in the sea of degenerate anime, if you want to see if you can appreciate degeneracy. Cousin.
the classic, baby. Everybody said it in the fucking chat. High school DXD. I kind of want to watch this now. I I I feel like I'm I'm degenerate isk. You guys think I'm a degenerate? Would you say I'm a degenerate? High school of the dead. It's the guns. Yep. Uh, guns and boots. Oh, that's not it. Oh, it's high school of the dead. Oh, it's a different high school. This is in high school. Nobody had this in high school. What kind of high school is this? And it's aged wonderfully. It still looks better than most edgy shows airing nowadays. Alan, I don't know why you put this yeah, guys. on. Because we're probably going to need to censor on YouTube, man. I love high school. My family now I loved that, it. I loved it uh, so I'm, much. I'm into anime. I'm an anime fan. I do anime content. Japan high school? I don't think so. And I think about five, six years ago, my cousin, who is an absolute normie, and I've tried Am I a normie, guys? So many times. I've tried sitting him down, but we've never had the opportunity. But he's tried twice. I have to watch a degenerate anime. I recommend the show called Attack on Titan. And he's like, oh, okay. I'll give that a watch. Do you know what he does? He what? What? what he drops in and watches High School of the Dead? Do you know what he does? He goes, he do? the cartoon version wasn't available on Netflix at the time. Uh, but I saw like the live action version. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's, he he did this. He did the... This is as haram as it gets. This is like if, if I made Liv, my fiance, for those that don't know, if I made her watch the Death Note live at Netflix movie before Death Note, she was actually going to do that. But I actually had a beggar. I had a beggar say, I know you love watching me, but I need you to not watch me today. I, you can't. You just can't. I told her I had to sit it down and talk to her like, she's my daughter. Version available, so I just watched that. I just like, no. You know, we watched this. I watched this. It's actually on my you're channel. This close. You're this close. It was, it was better than a Death Note movie. So That's for story, fucking sure. So fucking bad. And I was like, no, no. At least they were Asian in the Attack on Titan movie. Please, please. It wasn't whitewashed. I'm begging. Bit of background of my cousin. Um, he is. As the my characters aren't person. even supposed to be Asian. I think. Doesn't it take place in Germany? As you could be. He loves Marvel movies, but at the time, he was into HBO series, and he was really, really, really into The Walking Dead. Uh, so he was like, Fuck the Walking let's uh, Dead. try and find an anime that's also a zombie show. I like, yeah, Walking Dead, pops up. watch High School uh, of the Dead. He comes to me and he goes, yeah, I watched High School of the Dead. Um, is all anime like this? I didn't get why yes, all the girls is. were like that. Why, why, why was like- Why do they have big titties? Just say it, just say it. We, 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 we're all thinking the same thing, all right? Let, let's stop the bullshit. No, 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 bro. Why do they have big jiggling titties? That's what we're asking, all right? Like the animation, like that, on all the girls drawn like that. Why are they bouncing up and down like I'll volleyballs? Not need to get another chance. Yeah. It's because the audience likes it. Watching this on YouTube. Degeneracy. Look, uh, we are degenerates. Subscribe, smash the like button and stuff. Not we. I'm not including that sentence. Talk about some of y'all. Starter anime. That was yeah, a great fucking yeah. video.